Hello, I'm back, and uh, you haven't seen me for the past few days, mostly because um, Friday I was getting some work done, and uh, Saturday was, well, no, Friday was Valentine's Day, but I had to work. Saturday I was, went on a date with my girlfriend, so I was gone all night long <laughs> doing couple things and uh, so today is the first day that I've actually had some time to kind of digest what I saw Thursday for uh, the Nintendo Direct so this video is just gonna be me talking about how I feel about it and uh, what how this may um, actually mean good news for uh, gamers so after the cut let's get down to it Okay, let's talk about it. I'm first going to talk about the 3DS stuff because that's the stuff that uh, kind of um, a large portion of it, like 20, 30 minutes of, like 20, not 20, 30 minutes, uh, 21, 22 minutes of the 41 minute direct was for the 3DS. So, or 3DS portable related stuff. So, um, let's get down to it. Um, to tell you the truth, some people are like, oh, Still Diver is a free-to-play game, and, and, uh, the barter mechanic in Rusty's Real Baseball. To tell you the truth, I'm actually happy Nintendo is opening up revenue streams to, um, increase their, 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 their money-making potential. Because when Nintendo makes money, they get money to make the games that I want to play. You know, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze has to sell so that they can, well, I mean, they're working on Metroid right now, but <laughs> so that they can put more money into Retro so Retro can make more games. Okay, so, um, I mean, I've been hearing quite a few people in this community complain about Nintendo focusing on the 3DS. Look, if the 3DS does well enough, they can offset their losses, okay, which means that they can offset their losses for the Wii U until the Wii U can get its legs underneath it and, you know, it can take off, okay? Which is a good thing, okay? So, you better hope the 3DS does well, which I have no doubt in my mind the 3DS will do well, okay? No doubt in my mind the 3DS is gonna do well. Next, moving on. Um, so, I mean, for the 3DS we had a variety of 3DS titles, a lot of 3DS indie games, like Shovel Knight and Retro City DX, Retro City Rampage DX, and uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe, where Kirby will be sucking and blowing in 3D. <laughs> sucking and blowing in 3D, baby! <laughs> and, um, you know, all that good stuff that we've come to know and love. Um, which makes me quite happy. Um, you know, they talked more about Yoshi's... Um, Island 3DS, New Island, whatever. Um, that's looking good. I'm probably not going to get it. I've never been a big fan of Yoshi's Island, but, you know, other people are probably going to like it. Um, Mario Golf, um, like I said, Rusty's real baseball with the bartering mechanic where you can actually barter how much real money you want to spend, which is, I mean, <laughs> even if you don't, res even if you don't like Nintendo, you have to respect that is fucking brilliant. <laughs> you can barter an electronic payment. <laughs> That's brilliant. That is that is brilliant. Um, Steel Diver, which I'm probably gonna get um, sometime this weekend or whatever, because I didn't like the original Steel Diver, but this thing looks like fun. So yeah, I'm gonna play that. Okay then. Um. So what do I think about all this 3DS good, uh, goodness? Um, I'm happy. I have a 3DS. I'm probably going to have to get a new one because um, uh, my right shoulder button on my old 3DS, like original model, is on the fritz. So I'm just going to, I'm going to break, I'm going to break down and get a 3DS XL. I might get one of those. I might go to GameStop and trade in my old one for a new one. If they still do that, I think they do. At least I'm pretty sure they do whatever anyway so that's just me next um, after the break I'll talk about the 
Wii portion, I mean the Wii U portion of the presentation. Okay then, um, now for the Wii U portion. Um, well, you know, after I got over my, um, my, my brain gasm, um, from seeing Little Mac, <laughs> I wonder what other characters they'll have. Please let them bring back Mewtwo. I fucking hate Lucario. Bring back Mewtwo, damn it. Come on, Mewtwo! Come on, Mewtwo! Um, but I'm, I'm loving it. Um, we've got Mewtwo, I mean, we've got, uh, Little Mac for Super Smash Brothers, Wii U, and 3DS, which is friggin' awesome. Um, and if they have Doc Lewis, like, talking while Little Mac is fighting, I'm gonna enjoy it even more. You know? <laughs> Come on, Little Mac! Knock him out, Little Mac! Yeah, Little Mac! Because <laughs> Doc Lewis is friggin' awesome. Um, we've got the Koopa Kids. Um, all seven of those little bastards <laughs> come into Mario Kart 8, which I swear every time they show a demo of that game. Look, I went to a Best Buy event and played that game. This game, every time I see it, looks like two times, four times better than it did before. And from the details they've leaked about that game, 12 player online, um, uh, multiplayer, um, plus local multiplayer, um, plus, um, you can upload, uh, video of you playing, I, I think, yeah, you can upload video of you playing, which, considering I have a YouTube channel, if they tie that shit into Google and YouTube, <laughs> fuck Let's Plays, I'm just gonna, <laughs> um, really, I think this is gonna be the first real, well, the second real next-gen title on the week, well, third, because... It was Mario 3D World, then Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, and then, yeah, that'll be the third one. Um, and it looks great. Uh, Mario Kart 8 looks, Mario Kart 8, I guess that's what it's called, looks great. I love it. Um, I'm going to be playing that game. I haven't played a Mario Kart, like, since on the GameCube with Double Dash. Like, I didn't touch it on the Wii. I didn't play it on the, on the, on the DS or the 3DS. So the fact that they're gonna have this shit on um, the Wii U, I'm getting it. Okay then, get that out the way. Bayonetta. <laughs> Bayo Bayonetta. Um, seeing this game as polished as it is really makes me. I mean, I didn't understand why these port beggars. Oh, I want Bayonetta too. Why is it only on the Wii U? Uh, I can understand why they want it on their system, but pff, fuck you guys, it's on the Wii U. <laughs> you losers. Um, I can understand why you guys want it on your system, but this is easily rectified. Go buy a fucking Wii U. You get more value for your buck, you get backwards compatibility, you get, um, you can use all your peripherals from the Wii, and trust me, almost everyone has a friggin' Wii, or someone has a Wii. You can get Wii accessories cheap. Um, so, I mean, it's, 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 it's the better, it's the more economic system. Okay? Alright then, um, and lastly, um, actual, an actual gameplay footage of X. Oh my god. This game is going to destroy my life <laughs> when it comes out. That game is going to destroy my life. It's going to. Like, there's a reason I don't play Monster Hunter. Like, I know it's coming in 2015, but I don't play Monster Hunter because I played the precursor to Monster Hunter in terms of gameplay style called a little game called Fantasy Star Online episodes 1 and 2. I played that game. I played the original episode 1 on the Dreamcast. Yes, I had a Dreamcast. Dial up modem, Dreamcast, episode 1, played the shit out of that game. Then I got um Dragon Quest uh um Fantasy Star 1 and 2 um uh plus, okay? for my GameCube, and I played that with a dial-up modem <laughs> online, and let me tell you something, 
Ooh, God. Um, let me put it this way. I spent so much time playing that game online and just by myself and online that I sunk, like, the, the, the time counter was nine, was nine, was 9,999 hours. I maxed it out. <laughs> I played that game for so long that I maxed out the play counter, which tells you something, okay? I had basically leveled up my human hunter to the point where, like, even on the hardest difficulty of that game, like, I was one-shot killing enemies in the fourth area in episode one, and one-shot killing some of the weaker bosses, like, one, two, three, four, five hits, some of the weaker bosses. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Like, I don't have that... Like, between work, volunteering, a girlfriend, and all the other shit I have to do, I just don't have that type of time. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> if I get X, I'm gonna have to drop something out of my life. I think, I, I think I'll stop volunteering on the weekends. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> okay. Um, the overview will be coming up after this. Okay then, ultimately as I stated, um, it just, um, the overview of all of this is the Direct wasn't um, as awesome as January of last year's Direct, but it was pretty good. Um, they started off with a bang with Little Mac, um, being in a, a care, announcing Little Mac. And trust me, Smash Brothers is worthwhile being hyped about because it's a freaking awesome game. Um, it's anyone can pick it up, but it has a depth to it that a lot of games don't have nowadays. Um, the 3DS titles they announced were awesome, um, and this is just for spring. This is just this is just for their little quarter coming up till March. So, you know, they're going to they're gonna be uh, pushing the 3DS to make some cash money. And I can understand that. So, now that we got that out the way, um, my over, my, my, my end thoughts about this is the Direct was pretty good. Not great, pretty good. Not earth shattering. It's going to hype me up for what they're going to be talking about pre-E3 and the E3 because you know they're going to have some shit either an E3 Direct or an E3 Special Direct or a, like a long ass E3 Direct. I'm going to be looking forward to that. Um, I could give a shit less about Sony or Microsoft. <laughs> so I'm going to be looking forward to what they're going to be coming out with. They're probably going to be talking about Legend of Zelda and whatever Retro is working on. Please let it be Metroid Prime. I mean, it's not going to be called Prime, but please let it be a Metroid where I can run around first person scanning shit because that'll be awesome. So, now that we've said that, um, Direct's pretty good. Um, you guys have a good day.